The Gospel of Luke, the 23rd chapter, beginning with verse 35. Hear the word of the living God. And the people stood by watching, but the leaders scoffed at Jesus, saying, He saved others. Let him save himself if he's the Messiah of God, his chosen one. The soldiers also mocked him, coming up and offering him sour wine and saying, If you're the king of the Jews, save yourself. There was also an inscription over him saying, This is the king of the Jews. One of the criminals who were hanged there kept deriding Jesus saying, Are you not the Messiah? Save yourself and us. But the other rebuked him saying, Do you not fear God since you are under the same sentence of condemnation? And we indeed have been condemned justly for we are getting what we deserve for our deeds. But this man has done nothing wrong. And then he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus replied, Truly I tell you, today you will be with me in paradise. Here ends the reading of God's holy word. Praise be to God. A number of years ago, there was a commemoration for Vietnam veterans out in Chicago. And they had a large parade. Thousands of people from all over the country flowed to Chicago to be a part of the parade and to see a, a mobile version of the Vietnam Memorial from Washington, D.C. It was just like the one in Washington, D.C. It had all the names of the thousands of veterans who had died in, uh, in Vietnam. And there was a news reporter there and went up to one of the soldiers, one of the old veterans, and said, why did you travel so far uh, to come to Chicago? And the man was touching one of the names on the memorial and he kept running his finger over and he said, because of this man, this man died for me. And he had tears just f flowing down his face, freely flowing, and he said, this man died for me. As the news reporter ended up the, the report, the man just continued to stand there tracing his, his finger over that man's name. He was having a hard time getting his mind around the sacrifice of that man so many decades before for him kept tracing around it. In the same way, we as the followers of Christ, we have a hard time getting our mind and our heart around the fact that somebody's died for us. And we keep coming around to this, this, this Good Friday remembrance of the crucifixion of Christ, that Jesus Christ died for you and for me, for the forgiveness of our sins. And I suppose we don't ever want to get dull to that sacrifice and what it means to all of us. Would you bow your heads? Would you join me in prayer? Almighty God, your Son, Jesus Christ, was lifted high upon a cross so that he might draw the whole world to himself. Grant that we who glory in his death for our salvation may also glory in his call to take up our cross and follow him through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. God bless.